So let's start out by just creating out a model here. So let's uh, go ahead and make an article model. Of course, this can be pretty much any data that you already have or any data that you want to play around with. We're going to generate a migration alongside of this and also a factory. With that factory, we're going to seed our database with some test data, really important. So let's hop over to the migration and fill this out first of all. What we're going to do is add in a title. So let's go and say table string title. And let's go ahead and add some text in here and say teaser. So we have a little bit more information that we can play with, particularly if you are uh, using information that you really want to drill down into. It makes sense to kind of include as much in here as possible. So now that's done, let's go ahead and just migrate that change and let's go ahead and set this up. So if we come over to our article factory, let's go and add in some fake data. So for this, the title here is going to use Faker, which is a library to generate fake data. And we can just say sentence here and let's generate five words for the title and let's bump that up to 20 for the teaser. Now, actually, just while we're here, maybe we could attach this to a user. In fact, we'll do that later. Let's just go ahead and get this indexed first of all. OK, so to index this, you might be using some software like Tinkerwell. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do this on the command line. Let's run PHP Arts and Tinker. And now what we can do is use that article, grab the factory for that article, choose how many times we want this to run. Let's choose 100 and let's go ahead and create that data in the database. And there we go. What we should have now are 100 randomly and fakely generated articles. Great. So now that we've got that data, we can actually look at indexing this. Let's head over to the article model and let's implement the searchable trait, which comes directly from the Scout package. Now, what this allows us to do is actually index this data. Now, we're not going to look at this entire trait in here, but there are some notable things that we can actually look at. So we've got things that should be searchable, which we're going to look at later. That's going to allow us to filter out things that we shouldn't see in our search index. And of course, here we've got our actual search method, which we're going to look at later as well. So you can have a really good dig in that to that searchable trait. Now, what Scout will have done is register some commands over on Artisan. So you can see here that we've got Scout, delete index, flush, import and index. All we need to do is go ahead and run the import command, give the full namespace to the model, and that's it. That will be imported into MiniSearch or whichever other driver you're using. So let's go ahead and run Scout import and in quotes here, let's say app models and article. Let's go ahead and run that. It's going to tell us how many records have been imported, which you guessed it is 100. And all of them should now be in our Melee Search index. Now we've got Melee Search up and running. Let's go ahead and open up the web interface again that we looked at earlier. And you'll notice now this looks very different. We've now got 100 documents inside of an index called articles. And sure enough, we can start to search this. Now, this search experience is, of course, powered with JavaScript. We are going to have a separate course on doing that as well, including result highlighting. For now, though, we're just kind of learning the basics of this. But you can see here that at least we've got our data into our index. That's the most important thing. How we actually search on this is completely up to us. So speaking of performing searches, let's go over to the next part and look at how we can actually get this data out of our index.